Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Sister Golden Hair as recorded by America on guitar. I'm going to take you through the entire song top to bottom. I'm going to show you the chord shapes that I would play, the strumming patterns, and just walk you through every section of the song so when you're done with this lesson you'll have a main acoustic guitar part you can play through the entire thing. Now before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with a gift though right away for spending some time with me here on my channel. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack. And these are some exclusive tabs and handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down how to play Sister Golden Hair as recorded by America. Now we're going to start off with the intro that begins with acoustic guitar, strumming away. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. Then we start the verse there. So we're starting out on a C sharp minor chord here at the fourth fret. This is a bar chord. We're gonna play four, six, six, five, four. Then from there, we're gonna go to an A chord. Now you could make this easier just by playing like an open A chord, but I think on the recording, it's actually the bar chord here at the fifth fret. So that's gonna be five, seven, seven, six, five, five. Then we drop down to E for two bars. Now the strumming pattern here is goes a little something like this. So I'm playing one, two, three, and four, and, and I'm anticipating the chord. So it's coming in on the and instead of right on the downbeat, like instead of going one, two, three, and four, and one, two, it's one, two, three, and four, and one, two, right? So you anticipate the A and then also the E. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. And then you can jump up here to the G sharp minor, and this is where the slide guitar comes in. And we just continue that similar kind of strumming pattern. C sharp minor, then B, then A. Then from there we go into the verse. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. And the verse strumming pattern just evens out to like an eighth note rhythm just going like this. So what I did was I played an E for two bars, and that's just one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then you go up to G sharp minor. Again, a chord from our intro, four, six, six, four, four, four. That's gonna go for two bars, then A for a bar and E for a bar. This is the, well I tried to make it do do da 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 Now what I'm doing with the strumming here is one and two and three and four and I'm really just going back and forth down up but I'm splitting up the strings of the guitar and I kind of like to think like a drummer like like a drum beat right I've got one and two and three and four and so on two and and four and I kind of have this backbeat feel on the higher strings like and that just sounds so much cooler than just going and having it be all one dimensional. So that's the groove that I'm applying with this chord progression.
Okay, next line down, we go up to G sharp minor on the handout, then A, F sharp minor. Now here we've got some quick changes. C sharp minor, G sharp minor, A. Then F sharp minor, A, a friend of mine, E. Okay, that's our verse. So I'll play it one more time, and then it goes two times total, but on the last time we're gonna have a little variation, which I'll show you after I play through it. So here we go, we're gonna start at the verse. A one, two, three, four. Okay, so then we go back, we repeat everything again. Now, the second time when we're ending the progression, the last four bars go same F sharp minor, A, E. But in the last bar, we're gonna go, we're gonna hit these two hits on E, just one, two, and that goes into the chorus section. Let me play it for you first. I won't take any of the repeats, just so you can hear what it sounds like. A one, two, three, four. Now this section, the lyric cue is will you meet me in the middle, and it's also used as an instrumental. We're going to play two bars of B up here at the 7th fret, then we'll go down to A at the 5th fret, and then E back home. Then that's going to repeat. Now we'll keep the same 8th note strumming pattern going that we used in the verse section. Just 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2 and 3, down to A. Then E. Again. F sharp minor. Okay, now here we've got a bit of a tricky chord. This is an E over G sharp. So this is the fourth fret of the low E, second fret on the fourth string, fourth fret on the third string, and fifth fret on the second string. Now you could also do this just like this. It's kind of like a Dave Matthews chord, like that. Or you could add the pinky. Or the easiest way to do it is just play E. But you won't have the bass motion. You could also do it like that. That's hard though. So either way, you know, it's you could do it like this too. You, you want to play an E with a G sharp in the bass, because we're walking up, we're going two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then A. So if I put the chords with an F sharp minor, E over G sharp, A. Then from there, we go back to the intro, and that's the last section. Congrats on making it through this sister golden hair lesson. Make sure to take your time with this song, and make sure to not squeeze too hard on those chords. I know bar chords can be tough on acoustic, but you don't want to overdo it. And a lot of times with guitar, we tend to do that. We tend to use more muscle and uh, clamp down more than we need to. So keep that in mind. And before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is going to give you some exclusive handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So check that out as my gift to you. Let me know down below what your number one song is that you would like to see me teach here on the channel. Just comment the song down below. You could also use a YouTube link as well if there's something that you would like to link up. Thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in another video real soon.